Joe, well done today. A different type of win. You had to scrap for that second half. Yeah, but you're always going to have to do that against good sides at times. Um, I thought we were excellent first half. Controlled territory, controlled possession. Had two excellent opportunities. But they're a top side. Let's have it right. Play good football. Um, obviously finished in a really, really positive place last season inside the playoffs. And some really, really good players that know the level and have played levels above it as well. But I thought we were excellent. I really did. And um, obviously to get the goal when we did after five minutes of chaos was important. And then we saw it out. So yeah, really good three points. Now we've got to try and build. A game of two penalties. One saved, <clears throat> one scored, the red card thrown in for good measure for two yellow cards. What was your take on the whole five or six minutes that unfolded? Uh, from my side, both were penalties. Um, I think Nolsey tried to play inside. And then obviously in his recovery, you know, once you leave a leg in, they're going to sort of jump on that. And I mean, it's a top save. You know, Greg, he, Gregory's got a record of doing that as well. And we're so pleased that he managed to stay up long enough to save it. And then our reaction was excellent. We settled things down. Good little move to end up with Jimmy in the box. And um, yeah, I felt that was a pen as well. Woodsy tucked it away like Woodsy does. Um, the, the, the 10 men's a frustrating one. It's a weird... I know when teams go down to 10 men, people just sort of assume that's a foregone conclusion from that point when you're 1-0. But they can then find unnatural positions. Right When you're 11 versus 11 and you know your role, it's a little bit different. To then play against 10, they're 1-0 down. They're going to you know, have a go and throw caution to the wind. They change shape a couple of times and throw through bodies forward. You've got to make sure that you defend your box right. And you know when you've got something to hang on to, you're obviously going to make sure you try and do that. And we always backed ourselves on the counter-attack to go and cause them a few problems. And we did. And probably should have saw the game off. Obviously, the second goal, or the non-goal, um, obviously would have made it a lot more comfortable than it was. But I'll be honest, I felt quite comfortable throughout. When teams have a lot of possession, I know it can become a little bit nervy. But when it's all in and around, you're boxing on the outside without your goalkeeper making a save. You've got to back your defenders to do their job. And I thought they did that superbly. And nice to get a 1-0, enough to be the most satisfying. You've got a goal and you've defended your box pretty well. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Um, now it is, and again, this where we want to measure ourselves. They finished third last year. When we hadn't been in the building too long, we played them here and we were 3-0 down after half an hour and it was like, oh, a lot of work to do. And then you come in today and we felt so confident coming into it. We really did back this group um, and they executed the game plan really well. We caused them a lot of problems and I felt we were in good control for long periods, which is really pleasing. And then when they had their spell and fair play to them, they had a right go, but they're going to, you know, they know what they're doing. They're experienced and we weathered it really, really well. So, yeah, it's great to win one nil. It's really positive. Two good performances here, two clean sheets. And now we've got another really tough game of Russian Olympic next week. And five out of ten wins in the league. With a new group, I think you'd have taken that come, coming towards the end of September. Yeah, I think it's a tough one, isn't it? Because when we reflect and we have our meetings, whether that be as management or with the players, we're really disappointed with a couple that have got away. Obviously, Bishop Stort for the late goal. Darlington, the goal that was but wasn't. You know, you could be sitting on a few more, but I think every team would have that sort of sob story, as it were. You need to stay in the hunt. You need to stay in and around them sort of top 10, seven places and then see where it takes you from there. And... We do believe this group's just going to get better and better. With as we've always said, and look, and there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be days where we don't get to the levels we want to get to. But when we do get to that level, we do believe we can match and be competitive against anybody. And it's not how you start, it's how you finish. It's a good start, but now we've got to try and build on it and see where we can take it. And the next challenge is FA Cup again. It's Russia Olympic, one of your league rivals who've picked up lately, I think, have won three out of four. So they're finding the feet. Yeah, for sure. Um, you've got to respect what they've done, obviously getting promoted with good momentum. And then they've started the season OK. And then now they're starting to find their feet, as you said, with a few more results. We know what a challenge is going to be. Um, obviously, to go there, it's a freezy pitch. And we've got to make sure that we respect them and what they do well and then try and impose our personality and our style on them and see where we can take it. You know, it's one game at a time. That is now the most important one when it comes to the FA Cup. A little break from the league again. And we want to go as far as we can. We know what the FA Cup can generate, but we ain't going to look any further than what we've got in front of us. And we need to be at it if we're going to get anything from there.